Yes sir, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Denali aka Don Squally and in today's video we are back at it with the very first video on the channel of Forza Horizon 5. Uh, so in today's video, for you guys who are just getting started with this game, I want to show you how you can make millions and millions of dollars within your first two to three hours of playing this game. Now I've got about almost two two and a half three hours into this game and uh, as you guys can see I'm currently sitting on 3.5 million dollars worth of credits and uh, in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I acquired that it's actually quite simple so first thing that I like to do uh, when I'm playing this game is I do not buy any cars until I've made at least $10 million. Uh, now, when you first download this game, you would get a lot of free cars that you can use to win races. Um, now, I'm in a position for me where I make videos that uh, you guys want to see or that are going to be going on YouTube. Um, so what I like to do is just start out with uh, a car that's easy to drive and easy to win races with. So the car that I started out with was the Mitsubishi GSR. Uh, I like to just pick something all-wheel drive with a modest amount of horsepower. I don't like too much horsepower because then in races the cars are, are hard, to, uh, hard to control. So I did start out with the Evo, and then eventually, uh, when I won this Puma Forza Edition, which is all-wheel drive and gives you the stunt and skills boost, uh, then I started using this car right here. Uh, now that we've selected an all-wheel drive vehicle that's easy to win races with, uh, next what you want to do is jump into the difficulty settings here. And uh, as you can see, I'm getting 50% more credits uh, off of my races. Now, I have my difficulty set relatively easy. My drive avatar difficulty set to average. Um, as you can see, my driver assist. I do have my anti-lock braking on. Steering is standard. No traction control. No stability control. Manual shifting. Full driving line. Uh, no, no damage or wear. But I do also have um, the rewind on. Now, as you can see, you don't actually gain any more credits from having the rewind on or off. And let me tell you, this is something that's really good to have, especially. If if you're just trying to make money if I was trying to win races for my own pride personally I might turn the rewind off but let me tell you when you spend three four minutes in a race and then duff it right at the last second uh, the rewind is a great feature to have so you guys can adjust your difficulty um, that to best suit you but this is how I do it to get 50% more credits per race and now that we've got our difficulty set, the next step would be just to win as many races as you can using your free car. Um, now, as you can see, I've completed pretty much every single race on the west side of the map. Uh, there are a few new ones that popped up here when I just unlocked the, uh, the new horizon zone. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, just go through and complete as many races as you possibly can uh, with the free car. That way, you're just constantly stacking stacking money, stacking money, and when you do these races and you do win, you're going to be making uh, money, you're going to be getting free cars, but you're also going to be getting wheel spins. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, when you win races, you get wheel spins and super wheel spins, and you can win money and cars uh, from these wheel spins. Now, as you can see, we have four wheel spins, so I'm just going to show you guys an example. Now, here we have the Max uh, Forza Edition, the Myers. This is probably going to be worth quite a bit of money. Um, next up, we got the Corvette Stingray here, probably not worth worth a whole lot of money but we're going to try to sell it on the auction house anyways and right here we've got a hundred thousand credits just into our pocket that's perfect that's pretty much what i want cars don't really do anything for me i'm here solely for the money and occasionally you get these silly things like this legendary sleepy emote. I don't even know what that is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and collect that. And then the super wheel spins are basically wheel spins, but you have three spins instead of one. And now that I've collected a number of cars, what we're going to be doing is going to the auction house and selling off any cars that we don't want or that we think are going to make us a lot of money. 
Now here are a couple of the cars that I have tried to sell in the auction house. We got the Corvette C8 Stingray, um, which did not sell. I actually had two of those. I had the one that came with the game and then the one that uh, I won. Then I got the X5 Forza Edition, uh, which did not sell. Now here's where I'm making the money. The CLK GTR sold for $1.9 million. And then we have the Ferrari 458, which sold for 248,000 credits. Now for me, Selling cars has always been where I've made money, especially the Forza Edition cars. As you guys saw, that Forza Edition uh, CLK GTR, well, that thing sold for $1.9 million. Now, when you are starting an auction, uh, I usually run it for about an hour or two. Uh, so the Forza Horizon Edition... So the Forza Horizon editions are probably the ones that make you the most money. As you can see, this X5 that didn't sell, 500,000 credits. Now, we did just win the Manx Forza edition. That one's going to hopefully sell for around 500,000 credits. So I'm just going to show you guys to put this thing up for auction. Okay, so it's selling at max 225,000 credits. I usually like to put uh, the auction length as low as possible, which is one hour. I'll have our start bid uh, right around half of what the car is actually supposed to sell for in the buyout price. Um, and then obviously we're going to go ahead and auction the car. And what I'm going to show you guys next is a little bit of a hack uh, for accolade points. Now what accolade points are is you collect them over time. You can spend them uh, in the car mastery here. And as you can see, you can get XP, credits, wheel spins, things like that. So what I like to do to collect the accolade points is find a Forza Horizon Edition car that gives you either XP, this one's Event XP, uh, but the Puma Forza Edition gives me the skills, uh, stunt and skills boost. We're going to jump into that car. And then on the map, I've uh, found a decent spot for this, which is right around here. And this is going to be the area that we want to go to. So basically what you want to do, you can use this field or any other field, it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, there's all of these trees here. And then basically what you're going to want to do is just drift around in this field and take out as many trees as you possibly can. Now you'll notice up at the top, we are collecting points here um, and the, the amount that those points are getting times by is constantly going up. Now the thing, uh, you don't want to hit any big trees that are going to stop you and if you hit any items that skill chain is then going to reset um, but if you can do this for a couple of times i like to wait until my points get up to uh, the times five range and then do either about fifty thousand points uh, or a hundred thousand points depending on how much time i have um, so as you can see here we're just going to stop it so now we got uh, 20,000 uh, credits times 4.9 and as you can see uh, every time that goes around we're getting an accolade point now you can sit here and do this all day for these points um, and I'm going to show you how you can turn these points um, into uh, cold hard cash um, so as you can see I have available 12 points here and if you go to the car mastery, uh, each car has a car mastery. And as you can see, there's different rewards that you can uh, trade in points for. And as you can see here, we're three selections away from getting 15,000 credits. The first one is 3,000 3, XP. So we're going to go ahead and collect all of those there. And as you can see, we got our 3000 XP and then right away we got 15,000 credits. Now this car is relatively cheap, but let's say we jump into one of our expensive cars. This one here is worth 1.5 million. So now what we're going to do is jump into uh, one of our more expensive vehicles here. Now I have sold a lot of my more expensive vehicles. Uh, let's jump into the Myers Manx here and then jump into the car mastery for this car. Now every car is different. As you can see, we got 3000 XP right here. Uh, doesn't look like we have any credits, but we do have a super wheel spin. Now this is gonna cost us six. That's gonna cost us about uh, 11 credits there or points, which we don't have. I'm not too concerned with getting the 3000 XP on this car, so I'm not even gonna waste the points. Now jumping into the Forza Horizon Edition uh, Dodge Charger here. Um, like I say, each, each car mastery is different. So you can see I already got the XP on this one, but then we got 75,000 credits right over here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead 
and collect those credits. So we got to find the easiest and cheapest way to get to those credits. And as you can see, we spent pretty much all nine of our available points, but we got 75,000 credits uh, directly into our pockets. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye out for that. And last but not least, uh, one other thing that I do is upload some of my old school liveries uh, online. Now, in the past, I've, I've made a lot more money than I have uh, just in the last couple of hours. But as you can see, me uploading some of my older liveries or vinyl groups that I've had from Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 6, uh, people can download those and use them and you get 100 100 credits uh, per download now this game is on pre-release so only a few people are playing it uh, once people buy it from the stores and a lot more people start using it you're going to see this number go up quite uh, quite dramatically i've i've made like 30 40 50 000 credits just off of uploading some of my old liveries so you basically go to your designs and paints um, go to my designs and as you can see, these are a couple of the liveries, just a simple camo wrap. Uh, I've been doing these for years. You basically, uh, I think I've already got those uploaded. So I'm going to demonstrate with this one. You just click on it, click share, and that's going to upload it to the, I guess, the Forza Horizon store and allow people uh, to, to use them. As you can see, I've got this one shared one star so far. Uh, but like I say, this number, this number can go up pretty quickly depending on how many people uh, download it. But that is pretty much it. Uh, as you guys can see, currently sitting on $3.7 million. So the proof is definitely in the pudding. Just started playing this game. Uh, and again, my whole reasoning for this is just to stack bread so that I can do the, the builds that you guys are used to on the channel. Um, but for you guys, maybe you guys have other reasons that you want to stack money just to feel like you got unlimited possibilities in the game. But that's pretty much it, Uncle Don's little life hack for uh, you know the walkthrough whatever you want to call it for the new Forza Horizon 5 uh, I'm pumped up I'm glad that I've made a little bit of money here so I could start doing the builds um, that you guys are used to seeing on the channel uh, now with that being said a lot of new cars in Forza Horizon 5 I haven't even gone through the car list yet so I might do a quick video on that a little bit later but uh, let me know if you guys want to see any builds on the channel we got the C8, we got the Bronco, we got the Supras, we got the old Supras, new Supras. There's a lot of cars that I want to build um, in this game. So let me know down in the comments section. Um, and I'm thinking that's pretty much it. So if you guys did find this video helpful, don't forget to let me know uh, down in the comment section. Smash that like button if you guys are not subscribed and you want to see more videos like this. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And um, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, so with that being said, I am ready to get back to grinding, stacking more bread. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this one. And uh, i thinking that's pretty much it, man. So as always, I am your boy, Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. We're going to catch y'all, mofos, at the next one, man. Peace. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh! Fuck! Yeah, keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer. Anymore.